What's up guys? We got another hardware upgrade video today. We're going to be installing this Western Digital Black SN850 uh, alongside this 4 terabyte 750 EV or QVO Samsung SSD SATA drive. And then I'm also going to use these Velcro cable ties to clean up some of the cables in the back there. I had it all done with uh, electrical tape before and uh, I regret that. Then the basic plan is to move the drives from this computer into those two computers, the Node and my secondary computer with a 900K and 3080. Alrighty, we've got Windows installed on this. I've backed up everything that I want to back up on the computer here. So let's shut this thing off and start the teardown process. Alright, first thing we're going to do, well besides deconstructing the glass and everything which I already did off camera, is we need to get that video card out. First, let's deconnect the display port cable before we get uh, it unscrewed. We'll put our screws over here in a safe spot. The only thing holding it up is the bracket. So on to the next step of taking the video card out. Okay, took the video card off, off camera. Anyway though, as I was looking, I remembered I also bought one of these. And now I'll be able to get my uh, water blocks RGB going now too. So I'll also hook that up with the video card off. Out. Got that all taken out. Now we've got way better access to that shield because that whole shield cover has to come off to access our M.2 drive. Now I have to figure out how that comes off. I'm pretty sure there's like three screws. I just have to locate them and then we'll get that taken off. All right, well, we got the cover off. Perfect time to do some uh, cleaning now. Underneath there is super dusty if we zoom in. You can tell it's very dusty around the fan out of there, so. We're just going to dust that off real quick, and then we'll get to taking the uh, the 960 Pro out, and then we'll take out the SATA drive on the other end. All right, I got my flashlight over there, helping me out. So let us gently take out the drive. It's amazing how absolutely tiny these things really are. All right, anyway, finally. I'll just have to edit out that nonsense in editing. Uh, there's a 960 Pro. For whatever reason, my camera doesn't seem to want to focus on it. It's probably just the light from the outside. I should have shut the blinds, but I want more light in here. Anyway, got the drive out of there. We'll set him off to the side where he'll be safe. We must put in our Western Digital. All right, it's time for us to get our Western Digital Black installed. All right, now we just got to put this tiny, tiny little screw in to hold it down. Boom. And it is installed. Okay, on to the RGB part. This guy over here, he held, got holding just fine. This guy down here from my thermal take, I had to uh, use a little, little electrical tape. That's a nice trick if uh, your RGB things are moving around. Just make sure it's got a tight connection and wrap some electrical tape around it. Anyway, now I just want to do that real quick. Now let's move on to the actual hard drive and SSDs. So the basic plan is we're getting rid of this 4 terabyte hard drive altogether, and then we're also taking out this 2 terabyte SSD and we're replacing both of those just with a 4 terabyte SSD. That along with the 1 terabyte Western Digital 850 M.2 drive should be plenty of space for games and apps and work. So let's get those guys out of there, shall we? So we got our new Samsung 4 terabyte SSD attached to the little thermal take bracket thing. 
and let's get this thing installed. So we got the SATA 4 terabyte all installed and cabled up. And then also, just gonna get a little shaky for a second. Down here, we cable managed everything. All of the splitter for that RGB thing. Let's see, gonna do a little tiny dusting real quick off camera, but maybe not the best cable management, but I would say far from the worst. At least the door will shut, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna dust all that stuff up, get that door put back on here, and boot this thing up and uh, get to installing windows after we ensure both drives are not DOA. All right, I also took the liberty of cleaning my RTX 3090. Now it is super clean. When we were taking it apart, I noticed there was a bunch of dust and this fan, especially over here, was really, really, really bad. Mainly because it's hard to get it when it's sitting in the computer case like this, you know? Anyway, let's move on to getting it installed. Oh, we got the 3090 back in there. Looks really nice. I got even more space between this tube and it now. I tried to get this tube to go farther back, but it's, there we go. Nice. Hopefully I didn't cause any leaks, but I doubt it. Soft tube's pretty, pretty good with the leaks. As long as you don't have one right off the bat because of a bad overing or whatever, you're almost never gonna have leaks. It's those hard tubes you gotta be worried about. But they still look good and Still don't feel that often. Not trying to dog on the hardline systems or nothing. I just like soft tube better. Anyway, let's get those cables back there all wrapped up all neat. And then we'll boot it up and see how it looks. All right, we got the cables much better managed now. So, and then we can, if we drop the camera down gently, so it's not too shaky. We also fixed them down there too. Now let's Try and turn it on, I guess. We've already reconnected the GPU and everything, blown everything out, dusted everything up. Let's try turning it on. Okay, moment of truth. Is all the RGB stuff going to light up or is it gonna leave me disappointed? Let's find out. That was just the, uh, which we call it, Southbridge fan just being purely awesome. I've already got some new ones of those on the way, but it looks to me like all the RGB works. Let me take you off this stand and get a closer look at that block. Man, that definitely completes the build. Look at that. Looks absolutely great. The fans look all clean. GPU's all clean. PSU's all clean. I cleaned all the fans and the radiator. Yeah. All right, let's get the glass on it for one last shot and then install windows. All right, got windows booting up. I kind of ran into a little bit of a hiccup. I forgot because I enabled resizable bar that I turned off secure boot and it would not let me, it wouldn't even let me change the boot order or do anything boot oriented. I don't know if that's just an ASRock thing or what, but if you're having trouble reinstalling Windows and you did all the steps to enable resizable bar for NVIDIA GPUs, well then you probably just have to re-enable Secure Boot until you install Windows and then you can turn it back off. Yeah, I imagine not too many people are gonna get stuck into this problem anyway, because most people just put Windows on a drive and use it till the drive dies. I upgrade stuff all the time. There was really no need to even upgrade to this. I just kind of wanted to, mainly to get all the hard drives out of everything. I want it just to be all my stuff to just be SSD orientated. The only hard drive is going to be a two terabyte that's hooked up to my router, so I can kind of use it as a sort of cheap, you know, sister like what do you call it? Network storage, NAS, something like that. I'm not a big networking guy, so sorry if I am butchering that. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting Windows installed. And then we'll see what there is there. We'll run some benchmarks and whatnot once we get all my apps installed. All right, everything's back together. So I figured I would do a quick boot test. See how quickly it boots in the windows. Here 
carefully move that like that. There we go. That's kind of cool. I pretty much got almost everything back to the way it was before. I just have to download on my game. And then I still have to stop some apps from starting up like that. I don't really like too many things to just start up. I can start it up myself, and with a super fast SSD like this, it'll start up in, like, seconds. Anyway, I'll turn the camera off, get it out of this uh, stand, and we'll take a closer look at everything. Oh boy, we hit the jackpot this time. Heck yeah, this computer turned out awesome. Looks absolutely awesome. Well, just for fun, before we wrap up, let's do a quick uh, SSD benchmark for fun. So let's get on that. So here's what the PCI Gen 4 M.2 drive got. Not quite what it said it would get on the box, but to be perfectly honest with you, I've never once had. Well, no, there's one time I've had something match what it says on the box, but beyond that, no, nothing else has come close. But maybe there's a firmware update or something as well. I don't know. I'll check into that later. These are just initial benchmarks, but regardless of the fact, those speeds destroy my old 960 Pro Samsung drive that I had in here before. Now, is that going to translate to anything meaningful? Probably not gaming-wise, but it's definitely going to be useful for moving around large 4K 60 FPS uh, files around for my YouTube channel. Anyway, now let's see what the uh, slave drive, as we'll call it, <laughs> go old school here, uh, and see what the SATA drive gets. Okay, and here's what the other drive got. Still not bad, nothing to write home about. It's supposed to get, come on, there we go, 560 and 530. We got 546 and 488. So, still not getting all that performance, but it is what it is. It's not a big deal, but this all worked out great. Computer's all working good. I think we've earned a victory hit. Whew. Lighter did not want to cooperate on that one. Anyway, though, this has been a pretty fun video. And until the next one, peace out, guys.